What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about why 99% of dudes do not commit to you. What, not why they don't commit, why they don't commit to you. So I wanted to make this video. Um, it's been a long time coming because I, it is a common thing I see. And when I was first thinking about it, I wanted to talk about emotional unavailability because we know a lot of the times that there's just men out there who have FOMO, the fear of missing out. They, they like a girl, um, but they just can't pull the trigger and things like that. But I didn't want to talk about that today for two reasons. Number one, um, everyone talks about it. It's kind of an easy way out. I actually wanted to give you some substance here. And secondly, uh, it, it's... It, the, there's women out there who do convert these men, right? Like there, there are men out there who are unsure but end up meeting the right woman and becoming sure. So what was it about her that uh, that transferred or transitioned this man into a relationship? And there's two things that I see a lot of women run into, um, and a lot of things I, that are excuses that we have or reasoning um, for why a man does commit can fit under these two things. So I'm just going to kind of touch on them and go through the list. So the first thing is, and I tell women this all the time, what makes you so special, okay? What makes you so, like, what, no, here's a better way to put it. Why would he commit? What would he get from committing to you that he's not getting right now? That's the best way to put it. What would he get from committing to you that he's not getting now? And here's the trick with this question. It's not sexual that you all like you all think it is. A lot of women are like, well, I won't sleep with him or I'm not sleeping with him or something like that. But that doesn't really help your case because a lot of the times, why is my skin looking like this? It looks horrible. I don't know what the lighting. Um, no, it's even worse. But a lot of the times, if that's the case, sorry, Bo, if that's the case, he can just go sleep with someone else and continue what he's having with you. Like you're not the only one with a vagina. You know, a lot of women have vaginas, newsflash. So if that's the case and you're going to try to hold that, that becomes your value proposition. It's like, okay, then he is committing over sex, which I guarantee a majority of women do not want. So that's not good. And on top of that, like I said, if he's not getting it from you, he's going to get it from someone else. The trick with that answer, or the, I guess the answer to that, to that question is more, he has to want a relationship with you. And he has to actually want a relationship. He has to want the same things. Now, that, that, that's not what this is about, but you do really have to answer the question, what is he getting from me by committing that he's not getting now? And again, the trick behind it is it's not actually a specific thing because you can find that from anyone. It's having to want the relationship with you. And of course you do that through building attraction and stuff like that, which comes to the second thing, which is, are you the best option? Now, when I hear women, uh, or when women hear me say this, they get very upset because they start thinking, of course I'm not the best option, or that's really a really hard standard to uphold. And, you know, there's millions of women in the world. No, of course I'm not. Statistically, I'm not. So what the hell? That's not what it's about. It's about maximizing attraction. That's a beautiful thing about attraction. You cannot help who you're attracted to. It is a very powerful thing. It is why it's the thing I teach. It's why I have a 275 page ebook on how to tenfold, 10x your attraction for a guy to get him obsessed with you. If you want to learn how to do that, that link is below. It's a 275 page ebook on maximizing attraction. But I need women to really understand that your value comes from what he would be getting. I mean, again, personality and looks and your character and all that matters. But what would he be getting by committing to you that he's not getting now? And the answer to that is you. But is that what he wants? That's the trick there. Is that what he wants? A lot of guys come around and they want attention. They want validation. They want, They think you're attractive. They they think your personality is great. They think you're fun. You're, you're fun to hook up with. You're, you know, you're chill. But does he want a relationship and does he want it with you? Once you create that, then you have, through attraction, now you have negotiation power. Now you can be like, hey, bro, I can tell we're not on the same page. Do
do, or, you know, if he's acting a fool, take you for granted, deuces. And then you back up and then he's going to freak the fuck out. Because if you don't create that, then he can get those other, or he doesn't want a relationship with you. Well, then he can just go talk to the next girl, right? So the answer is attraction. It's attraction, ladies. And again, the second thing, are you the best option he can get? Statistically, no, but he doesn't know that. It's not about that. You could create that option. I remember or create that desire is what it is. I remember one time, and I wouldn't even take her, I wouldn't take this woman back if she begged. Like, uh, she's just not, nothing against her, she's just not my type anymore. But at the time, I remember my friends, this, you know, this girl really broke my heart. This is almost 15 years ago. Um, maybe it was 15 years ago. This girl broke my heart, and I kept thinking like, man, I want her back so bad, I want her so bad. So my friends are like, dude, she's not, I mean, she's, oh, she's yeah, she's hot, but she's, there's a lot better out there. You can get a lot better. And I do think I could have. I really do think that. Um, you know, not in a like dog and her. It's just whatever. You know, you're 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 in that uh, survival mode. You're trying to figure out that kind of stuff. You guys know how a heartbreak is. And I'm and then I end up always thinking at the end. Oh well, yeah, I could, but I don't want better. I want that. I want that. She did a very good job creating that desire in me. Could I have had better? Yes. Were there millions and millions of other women in the world I could have banged and dated and talked to and this and that? Yes. But I wanted her. I, w I wanted her. And it, w it had nothing to do with like the whole psychology everyone talks about where it's like, I want her because I can't have her. It's, it wasn't that. She was just very, like, it was just the depth we had, the, 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 per the, the, the chemistry. Like you, like you just don't create that with anybody. You have to have structure. You have to have substance. You have to have depth. You have to have what I call repetitions. You, that, that takes time. That's how you get the guy, ladies. You know, you, 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 you learn how to create this desire. And once you actually do this, and you're taking emotionally unavailable dudes, you know, out of this, um, more, you know, 99% of guys will end up committing to you if you know how to actually maximize attraction. You can answer the question of, what would he be getting out of this relationship if, or if he commits to me that he's not getting now? Because if you can't answer that, then there's no reason for him to commit. Because if you can't answer it, then trust me, he's not going to answer it. Um, and then lastly, are you the best option? If you can find the answers to all of those or create a, an urgency for those, like I said, a desire. Attraction is not a choice. Men do not wake up and decide who they're, who they're going to like and who they're not going to like, who they're, whose hearts they're going to break or if they want to break a heart. Their decisions are based on attraction. But once you create that, it all gets easy, okay? And again, if you want help on that, link is down below a 275-page ebook on maximizing attraction. Ladies, I love you all. Take care. Wish you all the best of luck and peace.